Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on Computer Networks Lab. In this experiment, I shall demonstrate how to configure the port security. For this, we require one LAN. So, we will do that LAN setup. Take one switch. So, here in this setup, what we have done is the switch has got 24 ports. Out of that, 0 slash 1 port is connected to PC0 and 0 slash 2 is connected to PC1. This experiment is to carry out the port security. You want to demonstrate here that you want to secure one port of this switch with a particular machine only. Suppose if PC1 is connected to fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 port, then in future no other PC should get connected to fast Ethernet 0 slash 2. That means you want to bind this PC with this port. To carry out that first you should be knowing the MAC address of this machine PC1. Only then by using the MAC address you can secure the port. And to see the MAC address of the different devices that are connected in this LAN, first let us assign the IPv4 addresses to these devices. Go to desktop IP config type for PC0 192.168.16.2 subnet mask then go to PC1 and you want to assign the IP address 19 this one IP config 192.168.16.3 16.2 for this machine 16.3 now you can check the MAC addresses of these two PCs by clicking to the switch. So click to the switch. First you will be getting the user mode type enable. And then in the privilege mode you have to type the command show MAC address MAC hyphen address table. So with this MAC address so there is show MAC address once again hyphen and then type table in this you can see for this switch you have two ports fast it uh, in for this switch you have used two ports fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 and it is connected to PC 0 and this is the MAC address of PC 0 there is another port which you have used fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 it is connected to PC 1 and this is the MAC address of PC1. Okay, now you have to take this MAC address and use this MAC address in the command line to secure that port. But for that, you have first few commands to type it. You need to go to the global configuration mode. Type the command configure terminal so that you will be taken to the global configuration mode. Here, to which port you want to carry out the post port security. To which port you want to carry out the port security type that interface number or port number int fa 0 slash 2 let us do for 0 slash 2 press enter then type the command switch port mode access then next you need to type switch port port hyphen security spelling mistake switch port port security next once again type switch port port security then type the command MAC address and then you you want to secure fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 and this is the MAC address of the PC that is connected to that port so you have to use here in the command line enter so now you have secured this port with the PC1 okay First, we'll check the different modes of violation and then we'll verify the port security. So, we'll type the command switch. Also, we, we have to indicate here for maximum how many ports you are doing the port security. It is only for one port. So, type here switch port port security maximum one. Actually, it allows 132 MAC addresses, but here. 
but here we will change it to only one then we'll check the different modes of violation switch port port security violation question mark whenever you type the command line switch port port security violation question mark you are getting the output as violation so when you type the command switch port port security violation question mark you are supposed to get three different modes the first should be the protect that means in the command line if you are using the word protect it does not allow from any other pc the data to be sent through the port fast ethernet 0 slash 2 the second mode is the restrict mode and this mode will alert message about if any uh, it will alert message to the admin about the attempt made by any other pc to access the port fast ethernet 0 slash 2 the third mode is the shutdown here the port will automatically shut down if some other pcs try to use that port to send the data now out these three different modes i have to use it in the command line now let us see this particular version supports which mode let me first check with uh, so what is that i have to do switch port port security violation first let me check with protect okay if i am using protect what it has to do it should not allow to access that port fast ethernet 0 slash 2 by any other pc Let me assign the IP address 192.168.16.4. So I have taken now one PC and let me try to connect to fast Ethernet 0 slash 2. For that, first I will delete the existing uh, connection, this one. Then I will take the cable and then connect it to fast ethernet 0 slash 2. So I will ping from PC 2 to PC 0. Ping 192.168.16.4. request timed out you can check here this pc too okay it cannot access the port fast ethernet 0 slash 2 because you have done this port security for pc1 that's the reason it is unable to communicate right so this is what we wanted to check finally we'll do one thing we'll just remove this and connect back connect back to pc1 and then ping from PC1 to PC0. So we should see that we have connected to fast Ethernet 0 slash 2. Go to the command prompt. Ping 192.168.16.2. So here you are able to ping and it is successful. This is all about the port security. And one more uh, information I wanted to tell you is whenever you are carrying out the port security one method is you are using the mac address here and then that mac address gets binded to that port apart from that you have one command called as sticky command so whichever pc first tries to access that port if at all we are using the command sticky in that then that pc's mac address get binded to the port and the port can be secured i'll just type this command line you have to type like this switch port switch port security mac address and then followed by the command sticky s t i c k y so this when do you use this command if you are not knowing the mac address of the pc suppose you want to bind pc1 with fast ethernet 0 slash 2 but you don't know the mac address of that pc1 that time with you can use the word sticky with sticky the pc1 
for the first time it sends data then it will store the mac address of that pc1 in its table and it will allow only this device to send and receive data in future so this is all about the port security experiment hope this session is useful to you all if you find it useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care